Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Review. Stay in front of you, we have a really cool watch from Trintec. This is their Zulu Industry Instrument, sorry, a COM01 watch. Um, it's kind of a mix of a pilot watch, obviously. It's in a pilot style orientation, that matte black dial. Uh, they're very famous for making pilot style watches, and um, there's a little confusion, you know. Uh, they're actually, their designs are actually around before Bell and Ross, so. They are the originals of this design, this, this dial design, this 12369, and a few other designs as well, um, just to get that out there. They're based in Canada. Their shipping is pretty fast if you're in the USA. I'm not sure about globally, uh, because I do live in the USA, uh, but it arrived in about three or four days, so I was pretty happy with that. Uh, the watch itself, um, price point, we're looking at around under 500 US dollars. It's a very well-made watch. Um, it's definitely a Thule watch. Uh, yeah, um, the box is pretty simple. It just comes with a black standard uh, watch box, and you do get a warranty as well, which is very nice. Um, but yeah, this is their newest, one of their newer models. Um, I reviewed a few of their older models in the past, and the quality control in the watches were always very good, up to par. Definitely good enough for me and my channel. And I do like the brand. I think it's a pretty cool brand. They also sell a lot of clocks, which are really popular as well. Um, but yeah, let's see what's on my wrist today. Then we'll dig right into it, guys. I'm taking my watch off the wrist, as you can see here. I am wearing my Rolex Submariner 114060. Um, this is a watch that will stay in my collection, hopefully. Um, and you know, if I could only have one watch, probably this would be the the watch. Um, it's very simple. It's a great everyday watch. You can use it for dress occasions, standard sports stuff. Go to the beach with it. Go in the pool with it. It's pretty much an everyday, all around great watch. Even if you want want it to be a desk diver, I guess. Um, but yeah, um, just a very reliable, robust watch. And the prices on these are coming down, on, actually on all the Rolex models. So um, be on the lookout if you're on the hunt for a Submariner or something like that. I think the prices are going to keep dropping. And I think things will get a little bit better in the future, or in the near future. This watch itself is crafted of solid 316L stainless steel. It has a black finish as well as a sandblasted smooth finish. As you can see here, the crown is coated in black as is the bezel, uh, which is pretty nice and tooly. And you can see the case back is sandblasted as well, screwed down for that 200 meters of water resistance. Um, yeah, just a very clean dial, very easy to read, very legible, something you want in a pilot style watch. And it even can be used as a dive watch as well. It's kind of like a pilot dive watch if you really want to look at it like that, because we do have the, you know, the dive time bezel as well, as this kind of pilot style orientation, pilot style skeletonized loomed hands as well. Um, but looking at this matte black dial on a closer scale, you can see we get that orange um, tipped or candle wick second sand, which is very common in most Trintec models. We do get those uh, skeletonized hands with black and white. We do get printed 12369 and minute minute markings and hour markings as well. Automatic and orange thing COM01, the model number. And we also do get a date. Let's go ahead and screw this, unscrew the crown here. I'm going to get it going and give it some juice here. Three, four, it's already going, look at that. I'm going to move the hands here so you can see the date window. Screw this back down. So as you can see, there is a date window on this model. And it is over at the, I'd say between the four and the five position with a white background. Um, we do get a sapphire crystal on this model as well with some anti-reflective coating as you can see there. Making it very legible, giving it a little blue tint as well, which is really nice when you're outside in the sun. Now, in terms of dimensions of the actual watch, um, we are looking at a 42 millimeter case from side to side, which is really nice for a pilot's watch. Um, with the bezel that pokes out a little bit, it's 43 millimeters, but I really like to go by the case diameter, which is 42 millimeters. I uh, get a pair of 22 millimeter lug widths here. Watch case length or lug to lug, you're looking at about 54 millimeters, but it really doesn't wear that big considering those lugs drop down pretty pretty uh, intense. If you can see that, they come straight down on your wrist. So I wouldn't really worry about that. You'll see it on my 6.5 inch wrist, which isn't that big, and the watch does fit very nicely. Now also, the case thickness, we are looking at around 15 millimeters. That is with the bezel and the case back. So yeah, it's a bit of a thicker watch, um, but it has a really nice feel on the wrist. It feels secure, it feels tough, durable. That is something you want in a watch like this. Now the bezel is 120 clicks, um, which is pretty nice. It's a ratchet style bezel with 120 clicks here. And it's very nice, very tooly. You definitely hear those positive clicks. And everything does line up to that 12 o'clock position. So uh, no Seiko errors here, right? 
Inside of this watch is the Seiko NH35, if you haven't noticed. Uh, it's, it's a movement most of you guys are pretty familiar with. It beats at 3 hertz. It has 24, I believe 23 or 24, 23 joules. And it also uh, has hacking, hand winding, quick set date. And it's a very reliable movement. It's a simple Seiko movement in NH, the NH35. Most of you guys are familiar with this movement, around a 40 hour power reserve when it's fully wound. And yeah, it can be self wound via the crown as well if you want to. Go ahead and unscrew the crown here. Very solid crown, I must say. Very easy to grip. As you can see, it's kind of like two, it's kind of like, um, it's like a line going through this circular crown here, so it's very easy to grip. And very smooth winding as well. One position, get that quick set date. Final position is hacking, and we can set the time here. Screw that back in, no issues there. Everything functions great. Now the band itself is a, um, I'm not sure if it's genuine rubber, I'm pretty sure it's some type of silicone mix, but it's very nice, it's very soft. As you can see, there's a lot of holes here on the back. You do get that nice grip as well. Um, it's very comfortable, I must say, it's very comfortable. You get breathing holes all on the top portion of the band with a black standard buckle here to match the black crown and the black bezel. Uh, for the band itself, you can see there is screws here, uh, which is pretty nice, very tool-like, I must say. Crown just plain, not signed. Flipping over to the case back here, we do get the model number, Hacking Movement 20 ATMs, Stainless Steel Com01, and H35A. Very simple with the little Trintec airplane logo. Uh, I think it's fine. I think it looks good. Very tool-like. <clears throat> but yeah, um, also there's a lot of C3 Superluminova on this watch. And you should, for a pilot watch, have some decent loom. The loom's actually pretty good on this one. As you can see, the loom glow is pretty bright on the actual hands, the wit sweeping seconds hand. And the 12369 and the, the uh, minute marking, minute minute markings as well. It's a green color. It's very nice at night. Very legible. I have no issue with the loom. Their loom is always top notch. Right to the wrist, as you can see here. Uh, my wrist is 6.5 inches, and you can see I'm on the last hole there uh, for the band. So this watch can definitely fit a much larger wrist than my uh, than my wrist. Uh, my wrist is not that big, it's pretty small, but as you can see, even at 54 lug to lug, it fits perfectly and flat on my wrist and perfectly curves with my wrist, which is really nice. And it's really not that thick as it, you know, I don't know, everything just kind of meshes together very nicely. Very legible when on the wrist, very easy to use that bezel as well if you want to time something. Um, but yeah, the band itself that it comes with is perfect for me. I'm definitely not, not going to change the band. Um, I think it's good. I like it. Um, I think it has that style and everything matches with the grooves here as well and the holes here. Everything kind of matches together with the whole genre of this watch. So I don't think there's any really need to change the band. Unless you want to throw it on a NATO, I think it would look pretty cool on a NATO maybe. Um, a leather band, not so short. I think rubber looks great on this one. You do have that 200 meters of water resistance. So if you want to go swimming with, the, with this one, use it for a summer watch, there's no issue for that, guys. So yeah, pretty much overall, guys, it's a very well-built watch. The finishing is very good. There are no sharp edges or anything like that. It's a very unique case design. I haven't seen any other cases I've reviewed that look exactly like this. I like the blacked out bezel. It matches that matte black dial. Everything matches nicely with the crown as well. And overall, it's a well-built watch. Their watches are always very well-built. I've never had a quality control issue with any Trintec watches. They're located in Canada. They've been around for a very long time. And they're definitely a very reputable company. But let me know what you guys think of this watch down in the comment section below as usual. This is Watch Addiction Watch Reviews with the Zulu COM01 by Trintec Watches based out in Canada. Really cool company, guys. Definitely check them out. I will drop a link down in the description below so you can check them out after this video. And that's pretty much going to sum it up for today, guys. I didn't find any really quality control issues. I really like the design of this watch. I think they really nailed it. Um, it's simple, tooly, it works. And it's fairly priced in my eyes for what you're getting in terms of actual quality, cut, case, and materials. So let me know what you guys think. Share the video if you like. Throw the video a like. Definitely subscribe to the channel by hitting that red button. Get notifications when we upload new videos every week here on Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much again for tuning in. Bye.